What's up, YouTube? He's Wolf Four Five Two here, and uh, I got an unboxing video for you guys. And I've been planning on getting this for a while. There's been a lot of talks, and then there's been a lot of work on this channel. And one of the greatest things has actually happened to where it opens the doors for 2019. So I'm hoping that I can do more on this channel. I want to give you guys a quick update for those who are watching this video right now. Is uh, I'm just going to keep this as a chick tech channel. And in the future, I do have another YouTube channel coming along for those who are interested in poems and... Uh, pranks or some funny stuff because those videos weren't getting that much views so uh, I don't want anybody to go look at my videos oh is this all you're gonna do now so I'm gonna try to do my best with bringing out more tech since those doors are open but we're looking forward in 2019 and this is the first beginning of it so biggest box I've ever had on this channel so in you guys pretty much already guessed it it's a new computer and that's what I'm gonna unbox I want to say thanks to one of my friends uh, somebody at work I work with has actually helped me get this and still at this time I'm still paying her back for it but a friend of mine was selling uh, this graphics card and uh, I was afraid he was gonna have it gone really quick so I asked a friend of mine if she wouldn't mind helping and she lent me the money and I want to thank her for that I don't know if she wants me to uh, announce her name on this channel but if so I'll probably just throw it in the description in the future. Uh, a friend of mine uh, I also work with he was going to give me a power supply it turns out it wasn't big enough what I need uh, for this computer I need to have something that's a 500 watt or so did a cooler master um, um, calculator and figure out this will be the best power supply that I need uh, to get this computer going. So I'm going to install these two parts later and run the machine. I probably can just do it on the on-box video what the computer looks like all running and everything. I don't know. But let's go ahead and open this box. And actually it kind of come pre-open but <laughs> it don't matter. So nobody didn't steal none of my stuff out of it. Alright so in this box I get a nice little nifty styrofoam covered mouse. It's a USB. It all sets inside. Got a power cord, which I'm gonna be using that for the power supply. Well, it comes with its own cord. And the fun part, so you can get it out without trying to make a mess here. Some styrofoam. So the animals don't get into a little more. My brother or his girl are probably gonna kill me. One of the two. So and now let's pull out the big thing. Well, ah, oh, it actually comes with a keyboard. A lot of people saying it doesn't come with it, does not. So it does come with a keyboard. I should have guessed since I got the mouse. I'll set over there. And now let's pull out Ugh, this. This is an Acer TC780 and this is the computer I recently bought and was hoping that the graphics card could fit in it because some images made this computer look so damn thin like what am I going to do with a gigantic graphics card but the computer is big enough that I can just say it will actually should fit in there without a problem because I even did some research and people are saying that a card will fit and then I see people were having problems with this that and the other so I did a lot of research and hope that this card doesn't give me any hell uh, another crazy thing I ran into this computer can only support up to 500 watt power supply and I'm like uh, yeah this is this is gonna be fun but other than that this computer comes with a two terabyte drive which <laughs> Either I might keep the drive in here or it's going to be tossed in my server uh, as for a backup drive because I really don't need two terabytes, especially editing movies. A 500 gig or a terabyte is plenty enough for me. Um, it has 12 gigs of DDR4 RAM running at 2, 2400 megahertz and it's 
got a DVD drive. We use the DVDs. I need to put a Blu-ray in here. And I'm also kind of curious of what kind of drive it is. It looks like it's more like one of those damn uh, laptop drives. It ain't one of those actual big ass uh, CD drives. Who the hell wants to put a laptop drive in a freaking desktop computer? Like, come on. It's back then for that. But other than that, screw it. So, this is the computer here. And this is what's going to be working for laser 452 for video edits and hopefully I can do a lot better on video edits um, especially that we're gonna be coming out with a film later on down the road so um, if you guys are gonna be interested about the film or whatever I will post a copy in this channel and a copy on a backup channel uh, as me and the friends are working on it but other than that this computer seems to be like really really nice this computer feels brand new, although it says it was refurbished, but you know what, I consider it new. I don't care if it's refurbished. If a problem happens, uh, well, I, I can fix computers. It's not a big deal. I've built them and stuff, but this time I've gone lazy to where I don't want to build a computer. I just want one that's at a good, decent price that has everything I need. This computer does fit the bill, other than the power supply. Nah, the power supply don't fit it, but hey, you know what? I went ahead and bought a new one. So, first time I ever unboxed a PC, because I've always built them come in different boxes. So let's listen to that sound of a brand new PC being opened. Well, I can't do it just as good as the other YouTubers. They can just take the plastic off like it was nothing. Ah, oh, listen to that sound. I just ripped it. I ripped. Well, I don't know that that was supposed to go on the side, but... What's the that satisfaction of a new computer? <coughs> Although I ripped it, it looks like I scratched the living hell out of the case the way I ripped the plastic. <laughs> So there we have it, a desktop computer that is ready for Laser 452. So let's hope that I can do a lot better videos than uh, I've been doing. Although my laptop's been serving me for five or six years now and then it's been retired. Well, I guess I probably could end it right there. I'll get the rest of that plastic off. I'm going to put this thing together and then resume the video with a whole little nice little desktop set and then probably bring in the previous computers that were working for this channel that has done a good job but not as powerful that I need it to be but served the purpose for this channel so let's go ahead and get those okay so I got the computer back and I don't know if everybody can see me or not but this is a, the best angle I have not like these fancy YouTubers who's got these fancy camera rigs that I've seen everywhere. So I'm working into what I got and hope you guys can see my face. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'll pull out the couple computers that have served this YouTube channel. Uh, so this is the Acer Aspire R7 uh, 752. Or so, yeah, I think it's 752. And this is one of my uh, favorite uh, computers. This thing is pushing six years old, and it took me forever to find a brand new screen. There is no uh, cracks on it. I still got the old screen in case anybody requests, hey, can you do the tutorial to fix your Acer laptop, or though one will be coming in the future. So this computer has served me for six years, and then it will still do YouTube videos, but only basics, which is really good laptop I've had and ugh, oh shit <clears throat> let's try not to have an accident damn Wi-Fi antenna the second best computer I had was this Lenovo computer so and then when we talk about filming and stuff uh, this computer won't do it so I decided to talk to a bunch of people and got this beast so now I got the power supply installed and uh, if you guys don't care about watching the rest of this computer 
being booed up or whatever. That's fine. You can exit out of it. I don't care. But if y'all are interested in seeing this beast boot up, we will. We got the power supply, 450 watt, a bunch of scrambled up, screwed up wires, a two terabyte hard drive, which I will replace later, and the NVIDIA GTX 970 installed into this machine. And this should be able to do what I need it to do. The DVD drive's not gonna work because I don't have the cord that will operate the drive. So, uh, let's put this back. And let's boot her up. We'll see what hell will it give me. So let's boot her up now. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a little technical difficulties at the moment because oh wait. Let's flip the switch first and then power it on. Okay, there it goes. I had me scared for a minute. Like Ah, uh, shit, what did I not do right? Wait, what did I put that cord in the wrong hole? That didn't sound good. The graphics card sound like it popped out on me. It better not popped out on me. Yeah, it did. Fuck. Well, the computer sounds like it's booting up, but the graphics card didn't seem like it's going to be booted up. So let's power this thing off again and try it again. I don't know why the card doesn't want to stay in. I ain't got no case or screws or holding it in just yet. I do got screws somewhere, but I just gotta find them. All right, let's try again. And there it goes. And people were saying that they had issues with their graphics cards. Let's move my phone up here. And uh, let's give this little computer a test run. With the way my eyes is, it's going to be kind of difficult to sit this far for everybody to see what I'm doing. So it's booting up Windows. I'm glad this thing has Wi-Fi because I'm sure as hell going to um, see if it will run games. Sure as hell takes Windows 10 to boot up with a 2 terabyte drive. So whenever I'm done with a setup, uh, we'll be right back. That is my camera doesn't die on me. All right, so I got the setup all done, and yes, I'm using my phone because my camera actually died on me. So I got a battery charge in, and I got other things I got to uh, deal with. I got to help my uncle later on, but this thing is a freaking quiet. Like you could, the only thing I hear out of this thing is the damn hard drive, and then there's your fans. And then when you're far away from the fans. And DVD drive A isn't going to work because I don't have a cable cord. So whose ever idea was it to have a laptop like in a desktop computer DVD drive is basically young, dumb, and stupid. Because that the, 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 this is just retarded for a desktop computer. So no. So I might get a computer a better case in the future, but right now this will have to do and then I still gotta get the part because DVD drives do come in handy when I burn DVDs and stuff and help friends and all that kind of stuff. So now we're in Windows 10. I've decided to keep Cortana on this thing. So um, this computer is going to have all the files installed into here. And I'm also planning to play games with this machine. And the uh, graphics card is supposed to handle one of the games I loved to play back then. And it was called Planet Side 2. Where the hell is my hard drive? There it is. Two terabyte drive. Right there. But that probably won't last in there for long because I don't really need that much space. But I still got to 
uh, think about it and then see if I still want to keep a two terabyte drive in here or not. So I am going to go to Can You Run It and I'm going to try to think of a game. I don't think Planet Side 2 is on there. So be right back. All right, so it did have Planet Side 2 in there and uh, let's see if it will run it. So these are the recommendations. Here's the Planet Side 2, these are the minimum, and here are your recommendations. And we all know, I don't know if it's a GeForce, I might be stupid with the NVIDIA because this is actually the first NVIDIA card I ever got. My stuff has always been AMD and now I'm over to Intel because of video editing, but I'm pretty sure nowadays that doesn't really matter which side you go to. But these are the recommended requirements and I am going to run Can You Run It? So let's click on that and we're going to see if this computer runs it. And like I said, I love playing this game. This game is like the bomb. So screw your Call of Duty and stuff like that. This game is like paying the ass to uh, win all that kind of stuff. But it's a pretty good game. More practice to it, then boom. And uh, looky here, the computer actually passes the recommendation. So I am actually happy. Now there's a game my brother wanted to play. So let's do it. Or my... Oops, I think I misspelled it. Arm. Uh, there it is. I just need the original uh, expansion here. Nope. I need the original game. I don't care about the expansion packs, although I'll be getting them in the future. But. Uh, We'll just say Army 3 DSC bundle. That should. Okay, and boom, my brother's actually gonna be happy with that because the computer actually passes the recommendations for that game as well. So I've actually kind of got of a beast of a computer just so I could play games with my brother instead of using Xbox all the damn time. Yes, I do have an Xbox One, so those are the two games are was I was more leaning into to see if this computer will run. Now, I'm pretty sure. Let's see one more game. GTA 5. Uh, GTA 4 mod? I just won't. Grand Theft Auto 5. Do I have to type it out? Grand Theft Auto 5? Grand Theft There it is. And look at that! Recommended, uh, recommended. and uh, this computer passes. I don't know why it's not showing that minimum process. Okay, yeah, so this thing will definitely will play Grand Theft Auto. Hey, Laser, I see Battlefield 1! Can you play that? <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Video card passes though, but the CPU fucking sucks, it says. It says, I need a. F Wait a minute. Oh, that's the K. What kind of processor do I have? I know I have an i5-7400, but I don't remember what it was. Hell, it probably would play it. Let's see. Let's find out. Can't play it down. Um. Can't play it down low spec. Uh, and there's all the specs to the computer. It is there is no letter to it, so I want to say it's a hit and miss. Because if it says it has an i5-6600K, I don't know if that is better than the i5 I have or suckier. But it says the graphics card. What is the graphics card? It says minimum. So the answer is no. This computer isn't really going to play the. Well, that's the minimum. I'm, if I sound stupid, oh well. I don't want to make gays. Uh, well, it says it passes, so I'm pretty sure it will play. Um, well, right here it is. Compatible video card with 2 gigs of VRAM, AMD, Radeon 7850, NVIDIA G. No, mine is higher, so it would play higher specs. 
So if I ever want to play Battlefield 1, this computer will do it because the highest CPU it will run is an i7 and I forgot the name. So I got a uh, badass computer and it'll even run uh, a bit more of a badass game uh, in the future. So I figure I'd do a little bit something uh, about this computer a little bit and now I want to say a few things. Uh, for those who were having issues with this computer and a graphics card uh, upgrade in a power supply, I have read so many posts about people were having issues with this computer. Uh, this computer was uh, refurbished, which there was only two reviews. One person said it was good, the other person said the power button didn't work, the computer was a piece of shit. Uh, Let's, I want to bring this up there. I got this done in one try with all the research and everything I did because when I started seeing issues, I was like, oh shit, I just bought a fucking piece of shit. Did I really? But knowing that it's an Acer computer and I've always loved Acer because of that laptop right there, um, Acer's never have let me down. This monitor right here, in fact, is very old. This is a old flat screen monitor. I can't remember exactly when I got it. I want to say I got it uh, 2010 and this thing is still kicking. That's how much uh, Acer has done a good job and never had a problem with it. So um, in the future there will be gameplays. I will have to buy a device for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the unbox video in a small little review and my reactions. I wanted to do the reactions part because I was afraid I was going to have the issue with this computer, but turns out I didn't. Except for I popped the graphics card out, plugging the cord from a wrong hole I put in, giggity, and um, everything just works fine. So I will see you guys later, and then there is an annoying fly. I need to get a fly trap. Yeah, you better run. Nope. <laughs> Alright y'all, thank you for watching this video, and you guys have a good day. Peace.